Uh, Representative Escamano, you're recognized. Thank you so much, Chairwoman. Why, question mark, are we including ESG, anti-ESG language? I feel like the legislature has already addressed some of these issues. It just feels a little repetitive to me and very political. And I agree that FDA is really not supposed to be a political entity. So why are, do we have this language in the bill? Representative Abbott, you're recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair, and thank you for the question. It, it, part of it stems from the fact that the U.S. Department of Transportation is now starting to move into that realm. So that we're, we're going ahead and establishing that that's what we're not going to use when we're programming transportation. So the federal level has started um, to implement some of these pieces. And so we're going to establish in a state that we're not. Representative Escamano, you recognize your fault. Thank you, Chairwoman. So how does this impact our ability to bring down federal dollars? Representative Abbott. Thank you, Madam Chair. That will be determined. Um, there are some certain factors that we're still working on as a department, and so that will still be determined. Okay, follow-up, Chair. Sure. Thank you so much. So when our constituents pay tax dollars to the federal government, tax season is coming, y'all, and we want to bring money back to our state, is there a scenario where this language would prohibit us to bring money, that's our money, to the Fed back to Florida? Representative Abbott. Thank you, Madam Chair. That is a potential, but we don't know that yet. Okay, thank you. Representative Escamata, you're recognized for a question. Thank you, Chairwoman. Um, on the same lines about these advertisements, if, Department of, if the Department of Health is able to post advertisements, could they potentially advertise like an anti-vaccine position on buses? Representative Abbott. Thank you, Madam Chair. No, they could not do any mandates that were related to COVID-19 in that vaccine. Representative Escamano, you recognize? Thank you, Chairwoman. What if it's just a recommendation, as the Surgeon General has said before? Representative Abbott. Thank you, Madam Chair. I will double check to make sure, but that my initial response would be no. Follow up, Chair. But you're recognized. Thank you. Shifting gears a little bit back to my um, previous line of questioning. Is there a concern that this bill is potentially asking both FDOT and local transportation systems to not comply with federal law? Representative Abbott. Thank you, Madam Chair. If federal law is mandating that we use ESG for transportation development, then it could violate it. Yes. Members, any, she has another question. Representative Escamano, you recognize? Thank you. One more. Um, what if it's not ESG, but just like carbon emission reduction? So it's not, you know, falling into those def definitions, but it's just asking, hey, we want to incentivize carbon reduction. We'll give you money if you incentivize it. What if it's uh, along those lines? Uh, still on the advertisement? No. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. No, just the, um, the, not that section, but the previous section. You're recognized, Representative Abbott. Thank you, Madam Chair. Yes, so that would be also be an issue because that's part of, it's not just ESG, it's any of the Paris factors that were in there, so the carbon pieces and all that. 